Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. I'm back in the basement, it's been a little while, but I wanna introduce you to the test rig that I built. It's right here. We'll go through the GPUs uh, in a little bit, but first of all, I want to tell you what I named it. I named it Testy. I really hope that you like that name and I hope you take a moment right now to say hello. Great, thank you very much. Testy, I hope you feel really welcome uh, with this mining community. So. I put this rig together, I'll talk about why I put it together. I don't really have any plans for this video. Other than that, I'm probably just gonna talk a lot and about what I'm doing and we'll just see what happens and hope this video isn't too long. So let's start with, uh, I didn't film a video building this because I just, it was kind of boring. I had this frame put together, this frame housed a bunch of 3070s that I had mining that the, it, they were just off because it's not profitable to mine anything with them. So what I wanted to do is just get one of every 30 series card on here that I own, which is almost every one, every one that I think makes sense for mining. And I'll introduce you to all of them in a moment. Because one of the things that I always love to do, and this is all of my time in crypto mining, which is about five years now, is test GPUs on different algorithms. And like many of you, I know that these last year and a half, two years has been all Ethereum based. And now Ethereum is gone forever, can't be mined. So it's time for me to take some time and test some other algorithms. It's just part of what I love to do. It's, it's tedious, yet it's fun and exciting. And it's helpful for me because I get to see what performance these cards get, which helps me make decisions based on their efficiency when I can start mining something. Um, it also helps me get information out to the community, out to all of you. If you're in my Discord, you've already seen me post some of my results testing some popular algorithms out there right now. Discord links down in the description below. And I'm gonna continue to do that. Number one, for me, because it's a lot of fun. It helps me make decisions. But number two, because I love sharing that with all of you. So enough about that. I'll continue to talk around all that type of stuff throughout the rest of this video, I think. But let's get started with introducing what cards I have on here. And if you own one of every single one of these cards, I wanna hear from you down in the comment section below. Or if you own almost all of them and you're missing one, or two, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll have some fun. So first one up is the little guy. You guys probably know that's the RTX A2000 workstation card from NVIDIA. Crazy efficient GPU on almost every algorithm. Really, really cool. And I got videos on all these separately. I'll leave linked randomly up in the card above me. EVGA 3060 is up next, followed by 3060 Ti. This is a Gigabyte Eorus Master. It's got like the LCD screen on it. It's a wild card. I remember when I got that one. Um, and anything in here that can be non-LHR is non-LHR, I don't know if it really even matters anymore. Next to that is a Strix 3070, uh, which actually might be underperforming a little bit because this 3060 Ti is beating it on some of the algorithms I've tested already. So we gotta check that out. Another workstation card, RTX A4000. It's coming up after that. And then another Strix. This is a uh, Asus Strix 3070 Ti, which is I'm looking in the fans right now, it's looking pretty dirty, so I probably have to clean that uh, when I get some time. And then moving on to the bottom here, we have a 3080. This is a Gigabyte 3080. It's actually my first 3080. I replaced the pads and everything on it. Uh, so that card's running really nice. And then 3080 Ti EVGA for the win. The Unicorn, shout out if you know what that means, if you've been around. The Unicorn is this RTX Asus uh, Strix, white Strix. 3090, 3090. And then the last one we got on here is the 3090 Ti EVGA for the win. And if uh, you bought this card for gaming and somehow are here on this channel, I'm very sorry for you seeing those results of the 4090, which just came out less than a year after that card. And then just everything's powered off HP power supplies. There's a ATX power supply there. And then the classic um, 13 GPU mining motherboard from ASRock, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Pretty simple rig, all wired up properly, safely, uh, and booted into Hive OS. And so why I built this rig again is to test some algorithms. So I've already done a lot of testing on Flux. I've done testing on Ergo, revisited uh, some of the GPUs on those algorithms. I wanna test Caspa and some others coming up, probably revisit Kapow on some of these GPUs as well, just to see how efficient I can get them on all of those algorithms. So it takes a lot of time to put in memory clocks and lock core clock or clock oversets or absolute memory clocks. Um, because what I think is gonna happen and what has already happened, I theorize this, is that for the mining developers, now that Ethereum 
is gone, their attention must go, doesn't have to, but I think it must go to getting these GPUs, 30 series specifically, more efficient on some of the other algorithms out there because it's there's an incentive for them to do that because they get a dev fee from us using the mining software. So if they can put themselves in a place where we're all gonna switch to use their miner because we can make money because the GPUs are so much more efficient, that's gonna put them in a place to collect more of a developer fee out of their miner. So there's an incentive to do that. The incentive was all Ethereum based before, but now that's gone. So you can see that incentive shift a little bit. Uh, that's already happened with the law miner developer as they've made some drastic improvements to the efficiency of the 30 series cards and some other cards mining flux. So that is some stuff I think will continue and I wanna be there to test all those algorithms again for me and my own personal data, but to also share with all of you to help you make decisions on um, probably not what GPUs to purchase nowadays, but at least can you turn your rigs back on? What projects do you want to mine? Does it make sense to even do that? And don't get me wrong, this whole thing is mining at a loss right now. Everything else, else that I have for the most part is, is turned off because I'm not going to mine at a loss. I'm not a crazy person. Um, this is mining at a loss, but it's just, it's for testing. It's helping me collect data. So for me, that's worth it. It's not going to stay on 24 seven. I don't think, um, because it's also not the most efficient rig with some of these GPUs. If I was going to leave a rig on 24 seven, which I may, it'll probably be the A2000s. Uh, I got six of those that, um, have a rig. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at Hive OS. So you guys can see all these cards in action right now. I'm mining Ergo. Let me give this a refresh here. Testing Ergo on these GPUs, I have this pretty much dialed in. I spent a lot of time over a couple days testing these, and that's the results that I'm getting right there. If it's helpful to you, I'll do a separate video on this coming up. But um, just my overall approach with this rig and testing is if I'm locking the core clock, I go up and down in 15 increments of 15, and then my memory offset, I usually go up and down uh, in terms of 100, and then I just see am I getting more efficient or less efficient, and I'm always chasing efficiency. You can see all my uh, temperatures are looking pretty good. The workstation guards are gonna be expected, but even that temperature is fine as far as I'm concerned. The A4000 is fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, so those cards for me are looking, are looking totally normal. So what I need from all of you is what algorithms would you want me to test? I already have a video plan on Ergo, I have a video plan on Flux. I personally wanna test Caspa and its algorithm, but is there anything else that I'm not thinking of that you would love me to test, maybe even one that I haven't tested before, or there's some that I have that you'd like me to revisit. Let me know down in the comments section below, but I think that's it. Here's the test rig. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content or crypto content. Join my Discord if you wanna chat. We wanna see some of the overclocks that I already have and some of the results I already have are posted in my Discord. Social media links are also down in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video.